Hello everyone and welcome inside Bridgeforth Stadium here in Harrisonburg, Virginia. This is where Montana and James Madison will meet for just the third time ever with the 04 National Championship and 08 semifinals, the previous two meetings. So it's always high stakes when these two schools get together. And on Friday night, it will be no different as it's win or go home for both of these programs. The Grizzlies lost the 04 National Championship to James Madison in Bobby Houck's second year coaching the team. But in 08, the Grizz exacted their revenge in Harrisonburg when the Grizzlies topped JMU 35-27 to to stun the Dukes, who were the top-ranked team in the nation at the time. We were kind of a young team that had got, entered the season without much regard for it and had gotten better through the season. We played well. I also remember their head coach, Mickey Matthews, a good friend of mine, and he was pretty disappointed because that was the best team he had had at JMU. So... It was a fun night. You know, it was a good performance by us. Perennially, these two programs have been some of the best in the FCS. But it could be the last time they meet for some time, as James Madison heads up to the FBS level next year. But this season, it's a battle of some of the best defenses in the country. JMU is riding a seven-game winning streak, and in that stretch has allowed over 20 points just three times. The Dukes also lead the country in turnover margin with a plus 21 mark a stat they'll try to add to against UM's offense. I think our team's just hit quite a bit of a stride, and you know, at this point it's win or go home, so I think that's just uh, enough motivation for our team, you know, to keep competing and go out there and get a win. Offensively, quarterback Cole Johnson leads the Dukes with the highest passing efficiency in the country, with over 3,000 yards on the year, 37 touchdowns, and just two interceptions. As an offense, JMU averages 442 yards and 41 points per game, and they'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Grizzly defense that has been Montana's strength all year. The Grizzlies are 4-1 and one on the road this year and come in on a six-game winning streak of their own. And after big wins at home over Montana State and Eastern Washington, UM prepares for Friday Night Lights on the national stage again with a spot in the semifinals on the line. It's going to be a challenge. Us as a team, that's what we're looking forward to is a challenge. And every team that's still playing right now is really good. And uh, um, that's what we're expecting. So we're going to prepare as such and then going to go out and do what we do. Reporting in Harrisonburg, Virginia, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.